So I have Kyle and a Synology NVR1218 here. And uh, this is a solution we're putting together for a client with a variety of cameras. And it's one of the reasons we like the Synology surveillance station software and the Synology disk station system itself. Now the NVR version of this is different than the other disk stations. It has an HDMI out and we're going to actually switch back and forth between it. So this is the actual output of it uh, where you get and able to watch the cameras. And we're gonna move the mouse over here and uh, open up the live view and you are seeing actually what we see in real time. Yeah. <laughs> that's a close up. That's a close up. And so that's one of the cool features about it. So I kind of want to talk about this system and why there's another NVR. Cause you're probably going, what's this down here? Well, that's what we want to talk about is the whole project as a solution. So the Synology NVR 1218 still has the full DSM, which is we're looking at my laptop right here and you can see some CPU usage and the standard Synology DSM interface that you can load other applications on here. But before you get too excited, we have noted uh, doing all of our testing with this, this solution is going to be deployed to a bar that's not using it as a Synology uh, DSM and all the fanciness. They are going to be using it for uh, connecting their old BNC cameras and adding a few new ones. Now, ideally we'd love to rip and replace all those BNC cameras out, but that's not reasonable. The other reason I mentioned that we're not gonna be using it as a Synology uh, disk station in terms of using as a file server is, please note the CPU usage just hanging out here is at 50%. Me and Kyle have noted that when you have a few users logged into this, the CPU usage goes up quite a bit. And that does include, and we're gonna to switch to it again, when you're logged in here. So if we actually close the applications here, uh, we close it right here, there we go. And by the way, I only have a mouse plugged in and it comes with an on-screen keyboard to do things. But as long as this is logged in and doing something, it will increase the CPU uses versus when we go over here, you'll actually watch it drop down after a few seconds just by closing that application here. So even the users directly logged into it do tax the system a little bit. But we're gonna talk about the good and the bad here. Now the good. It works amazing with these uh, 4K cameras that we have. Is this the Amcrest? Yeah, this is a 4K Amcrest. Um, we also really like the 2K Real Links. So any like OnVIF cameras that we've tried with it seem to work quite well. Um, the Synology supports a lot of the OnVIF cameras and you just add it by brand, you add it by IP address pretty much and it auto negotiates all the own VIF stuff. So. Yeah, and I'm gonna do some separate reviews of the cameras um, individually. We will tell you one, they work. Two, the picture quality is pretty good with these. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, separate video so I can really just spend time comparing these in depth. We're gonna put them on a rig all together outside so we're not just pointing them uh, randomly at the studio. But I will say, let's uh, open up that 4K one because it's pretty dark in the studio except for the lights on the products or us. Um, let's go and open up the live view and we'll give you a little bit of an idea here. Yep, and uh, let's pick this one. This is the 4K one, and you guys can see what we're seeing. Whoops. And even in the dark here, I mean, there's the bathroom, the back of the shop. The lights are all off except for the studio lights. And even with the blaring studio lights, I love the infinite the yep. <laughs> uh, thing. We're able to easily read what's on here. Um, you can see my bad handwriting that goes on the whiteboard occasionally that I stare at behind here. So this is that Amcrest camera and it's a pretty good job. Here's the real link camera, which is kind of, it's a dome one, so it's mounted to point up and whoops. There we go, spin that around and uh, give you an idea how these look. Like I said, these aren't any meant to be in depth on this, but kind of gives you the idea that the camera's got pretty good quality. Yeah. And the other one is the Amcrest uh, PTZ which is uh, another this 2K one. camera, I believe. Yeah, it's another 2K camera. We'll leave links to where you can get all these on there. But this one's cool because it's... The Synology even supports sending the, yeah, the, the pan and tilt function. So this one doesn't have optical zoom, but you can still zoom in digitally and then it fully supports... Uh, you can do spinning. patrols, yeah. Do uh, do uh, yeah. It just as the uh, pan and tilt doesn't have the zoom, so it's just a PT camera. But if you get the more advanced ones, uh, these are all supported. <clears throat> but the other thing that we have in here is the BNC system by Dahua. This is where that solution comes in for the bar. 
Yeah, get BNC connectors here. So yeah, so we, we we bought a really cheap BNC camera, but we're actually shocked at how good the quality is on it. It's actually quite good. It's a 1080p BNC. Yeah, and so are the cameras at the bar. So it's going to be fed by some uh, BNC cameras in 1080. But <laughs> this is the big but for this solution. You may have noticed when you're looking at the live view uh, that whoop, we'll go to the live view over here. There's a camera missing. And if you mouse over it, it will give you that error message. The video format or resolution is not supported by your local display. Kyle spent a lot of time trying to solve this problem. If we use something that's supported by the browser, it gets what, artifacting? Yeah, so the problem is um, this, specifically this Dahua box, because this is a Dahua NVR down here, which is what's actually giving us the IP stream for the BNC camera. It supports H.264 encoding and H.265. Um, that being said, Chrome, and as far as I know, Firefox, they don't support H.265. So it will record just fine. You can download the videos just fine. You can't view them in a Chrome-based browser. And as far as I know, Firefox, I haven't tested that one personally. Right. Um, there is a desktop application you can use. Sees it just fine. Uh, it uses its own encoding. Yeah, so if you download a Solid Streaming Station desktop app, not what you see running on here, it works perfectly fine. Also, and I'll show you this, even on my Linux computer, if we're over here and we open up the, uh, well, let's go to the surveillance station here. And then we open this up and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, download a video from the file. I can play back that video perfectly fine. So that's, the good is we're gonna, be able to, at least in the short term, keep all the cameras this person has at the bar uh, for the uh, existing BNCs, but, they're going to have to not live view them, except for on a desktop, which they have a Windows computer there, so he'll be able to watch it on his Windows computer, no problem. And you can set up the software to work remotely and still view it on a Windows computer from home. And of course, when we go to the recordings here. And another thing that I wanted to point out is actually the BNC camera is currently recording at 720 because 1080 just seemed to not be a stable connection. Um, you'd get a lot of artifacting. You'd get, anytime there was motion on the screen, you would get, um, ghosting and everything so it in terms of a surveillance camera it was pretty bad um, and we tried changing the bit rates and everything it wasn't until we turned the resolution down and turned the bit rate down um, even though we've got other cameras on here that are much higher bit rates uh, the BNC one seems to have a problem with higher bit rates unfortunately yeah and that's it, it but here's what the recording looks like uh, oh, we should probably have mo motioned it around a little bit did you motion to here maybe probably not Oh yeah, there we go. Here's where you were playing with a little bit. So you can see that the camera doesn't have a horrible quality. And no. We may add it to our review list when we're testing all these out. Uh, maybe Because it's still recording at 720. Uh, the cameras don't look bad. Um, like I said, it's a, it's a 1080p camera, but it still looks great in 720. Yeah, and it, it, it's enough to get the job done. That's mm -hmm. kind of uh, our point to it. Is It's a workable solution. The more ideal situation is, hey, buy all new oh, 4K yeah. cameras, buy all new, uh, even these Rio links and that are only 2K, but these are good too. That would be a better solution. But, you know, if you have a bunch of cameras, and I think he's got like nine cameras, um, he didn't want to spend the expense on that. And this is a pretty affordable box. This box is what it was, $200 I think to it start. was like two, 250 something like that. That's for the discless model. Yeah, for the discless, and you add a couple drives to it. And it comes with four camera licenses, because yes, I know it, it's something that does have a license, but save you the Google search. Yes, the licenses are reasonably priced, roughly $50 or cheaper when you buy them in bulk. I, I think individually they're $60, but if you buy the bulk packages, they, they get a bit cheaper per license. Yeah, you can buy like up to eight licenses and save in a, a few more dollars. Yep. And they're a one-time purchase. They're not something you have to renew every year. Right. You pretty much just have to buy the licenses for as many cameras as you want once when you set up the NVR, and then that's it. You can keep putting, and you can take the cameras off, and you can put new ones on. You have that many camera slots on that NVR. So if a camera dies, you can just remove it from the NVR, put the new one on, and it uses that same license slot, so. Yeah, and they're transferable. That is something we got confirmation from Synology because we weren't real clear. We figured they were, but I wanted, I didn't see it or at least didn't immediately see it. Maybe they updated on our website because I suggested that they do that. Uh, but if you decide that this 1218, and it does have kind of a limit to how many cameras you could put on it. Um, if you wanted something bigger, you did, you weren't out all that license money. You buy the bigger model and then copy and move all the licenses, the config. Matter of fact, you can import and export your config, your setup and everything over to another Synology that's bigger. So. 
that's actually a really nice feature of it. Says this is what they can afford today. Maybe they want something bigger tomorrow. Right. Kind of the way if that they decide to add too many more cameras. Like if they want another four cameras, um, this one will handle that. But if they said they want another six cameras, we're going to start getting into you should get a bigger box. Yeah, because if so. you have a bunch of high res cameras on here, it's just going to choke this machine. But overall, we like it. Uh, it's a, it's still a good solution. I, I'm not. It's kind of a one-off. I mean, like I said, if you're in a pinch, and that's kind of how this particular project is, he does not want to get rid of it. Um, but we, you know, he knows all the pitfalls. We've talked to the client about how the solution is going to work and how it's going to be deployed. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to share that, though, and put this video together, that um, a lot of different options here with Synology. Maybe we'll do an on-site video at the bar. That might yeah. be kind of fun to show um, in the end. I, I think I have he'd to, be okay with it. He'd so. probably be okay. He's a pretty cool customer. We like um, him. Everyone, I know everyone loves the on-site videos, but one of the things is always getting permission. Uh, for our medical and legal clients, or any compliance industry clients, they don't want us on site with cameras. But the bar, he likes being, you know, hey, come to my bar. Yeah. By the way, I'm watching you. So he'd probably, he'd probably think of it as an advertising thing and share it out. So <laughs> maybe we will be able to do a video when we go on site and do it. Um, but I'll leave links to all the different cameras and look for the upcoming camera review. We're gonna, like I said, we're gonna build a rig that mounts all the cameras so we can get a more subjective view of what they all look like. And we're gonna actually take it outside. We'll do a couple inside with them. Yeah. But I see a lot of people wanna know, what does it look like outside? What does it look like at night? What does it look like during the day? And uh, I have some ideas. We're gonna draw some stuff in the back in the alley or something yeah. like this is what 10 feet looks like this is what 20 feet looks like this is can it's you read same, a license plate <laughs> yeah that's exactly it the same customer actually wanted to get a couple for home too to um see if he can read license plates going down a street so you know we'll test whether or not these cameras can do that yeah and we'll give you exact feet measurements like i said i can't really do a good strong camera review in in, in this setting here yeah uh, but i'm i'm shocked at how well these cameras look uh, yeah. based on the fact that you know we got these lights glaring at it especially this real link this thing it's got I mean, a glass dome on it, and it's not flaring. It's not glaring uh, that much, despite, I mean, these are really bright lights looking at us here. Yeah, so. I have to say, out of the, the two so far that I've tested the most, uh, the 4K Amcrest looks really nice, but this Real Link looks pretty nice, too. Yeah, we, we uh, I have another video coming up about all the Real Links we installed a few months ago for a client. I collected a lot of video with it, and it's uh, they're all outdoor. They have now survived several disastrous storms we just had yeah. passed through another Michigan. one last night um that way my review is yes there's no water in it after two absolutely crazy downpours and these are left directly exposed to the elements there's not an overhang they're mounted to the side of a brick building uh, that's in our video coming up all right and thanks and like i said links below to everything and thank you for making it to the end of the video if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page, and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general, even suggestions for new videos. They're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.